I'm passionate about being a chef because I love every part of this business. I've been cooking with beef professionally for 22 years. Being able to adapt it to any, any style of cuisine from high end to our diner, I mean really it, it fits really well anywhere. Ega Group is a collection of restaurants in the, in the Northwest. We have all aspects of restaurants from upper end casual restaurants, share plates, to a catering company and a pub. Beef is one of the most popular menu items on any of our menus and it's because people come in, they are craving that and it's something that's very approachable to almost everybody. We're talking about hamburgers, cooking on a cast iron. If you think about that visually in your head, it makes your mouth water a little bit. Or you have this delicious steak and a little bit of fat melting over the open fire and getting a little crispy on the edges. Like it's all those kind of ideas, they make your mouth water and all of our items are under $20. And Beef fits into that because there's so many value cuts that we can fit onto here and make this really delicious, flavorful item. I think that there's like this eternal craving when you think about beef, getting that those crispy edges and getting that uh, sort of nuttiness and sweetness that you get from the caramelization of beef. We have great Washington wines here, and so pairing that up with beef it's a natural fit. It gives you a mouth-watering feeling when you think about it. That is really something that we try to touch on. They're craving what, whatever we're creating. The Bistro Tenno Steak is one of the most popular menu items we have. We take the Terrace Major, we break it down and trim it. The trimmings go into our ground beef. Then we're sous vide that to rare. That is portioned, cooled down, and then we grill it to order over applewood. Seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper and butter as it's grilling. Taken off the grill, sliced, and put over poached crispy potatoes. They have a little bit of a glaze on them and then topped with a gremolata butter, which is a mix of aromatic lemon, parsley, garlic, and horseradish. So you get that great value of having a steak cut, but you're not having to pay that premium price for it. At Gilded Unicorn, we have the Sparkle Burger. A lot of our food there is based on comfort foods, and so what's more comfort food than a hamburger? What we do is we have our own American cheese we make there. We have a blend of brisket, blended with our umami spice, a little bit of milk powder to keep it bound together, a really juicy burger that we cook on cast iron in a hearth oven. So you have this slow cooked burger sizzling in the oven with open fire. We have our homemade buns. We put a little bit of jam on there and then we're putting that all together and we're spraying that with a little bit of gold leaf. And it's this really kind of quirky, funny burger that is classically American, but it's like really high quality ingredients. I love cooking with beef because of the versatility. There's so many different aspects. It fits everywhere that our restaurants go. Spaghetti stuffed meatballs here at Wondering Table is one of our classic dishes. So I had the idea of stuffing the noodles and the sauce inside of the meatball, but it's not as easy as it sounded. So what we did is we combined the sauce and the noodles, a little bit of gelatin. We chilled that down. That's scooped. We freeze that so that it gets solvent enough. Then we take a very traditional meatball mixture, put it on the outside of it. That mixture is then, after it's stuffed, it's fried to get a little bit browned up and it helps it hold together. We put that into our hearth oven and bake that until it's perfectly cooked all the way through. We serve that on a red pepper coulis. It's topped with a little bit of shaved Reggiano cheese, garlic confit, which is a really slow cooked garlic, and some grilled toast. One of the things that we try to do in all of our restaurants is let the quality of the product speak for themselves. We're creating experiences for people. You have the craft, you have the quality, you have all of these very classical steps and then it's like taking it to the next level so that it feels you're like reaching these memories inside of people and like being able to grab those ideas and bring them back with, a, with one bite. I think that's beautiful.